Greetings in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is now Sunday, May 17th, 2020. Very early, it's 12.24 a.m. So now we're going to finish Hebrews chapter 11. I mean, the book of, excuse me, the book of Hebrews, um, hopefully in this video we'll do 11, 12, and 13. Okay. Hebrews chapter 11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen, which were not made of things which do appear. Oh, hallelujah. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was trans translated that he should not see death and he was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him oh hallelujah and I do hallelujah by faith, Noah, being warned of things not yet not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by, by the by the, which he condemned the, the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise and in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. <laughs> for he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Oh, hallelujah. Through faith, <laughs> through faith also Sarah received her... Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore sprang, therefore sprang there of one and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that, for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country, and truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned." But now they desire a better country, that is, and heavenly. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared them a city. By faith Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said that Isaac shall thy seed be called, accounting that God was was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith Jacob, when he was dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph, and worshipped, leaning upon the top of his staff. By faith Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel, and gave commandment concerning his bones. <laughs> <laughs> by faith Moses when he was born was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment by faith Mo <laughs> Moses when he was come to years refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season
esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest that he destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the, Egypt the Egyptians are saying to do, to do were drowned. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven seven days. By faith the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believed not when she had received the spies with peace. And what what shall I more say, for the time would fail me to tell of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, and David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned uh, to flight the armies of, of, of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn, sawn asunder, they they were tempted, were slain with a the sword, they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of, of the earth. And, the, and these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise, God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinner against sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds, yet have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh, speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint thou when thou art rebuked of him. <laughs> For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourges every son who he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. And what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? <laughs> oh, bless me. Verse 8. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons? <laughs> Bless me. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit that we make that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereof. Oh, hallelujah. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but rather it be healed. 
Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the, of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, um, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. <laughs> for you know... <laughs> For you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, and that burn with fire, nor into blackness and darkness and tempest, and the sound of a trumpet, and the voice of words, which voice they that heard entreated that the word should, be, should not be spoken to them any more. For they could not endure that which was which was commanded, and if so much as a beast touch the mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust through with a dart. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. But ye are come unto Mount Zion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of, of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and the and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. See that ye refuse not him that speaketh, for if they escape not who refu who, if they escape not who refuse him that spake the earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven from heaven whose voice then shook the earth but now he hath promised saying yet once more i shake not the earth only but also heaven and this word yet once more signifieth the removing of those things that are shaken as of as of things that are made that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Oh, hallelujah. I totally get it now. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, <laughs> let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. Wow. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I lost it. Okay, Hebrews chapter 13. Let, let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. <laughs> Remember them that are in bonds as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity, and being yourselves also in the body. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. For that, for that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Remember them which have the, have the rule over you. Who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. Jesus Christ the same is the same yesterday and today and forever. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats, which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat which serve the tab tabernacle for the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the nigh by the high by the high priest for sin are burned without the camp wherefore jesus also that he might sanctify the people with his own blood suffered without the gate let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp bearing his reproach for here we ha for here have we no con Continuing city, but we seek once to come. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of, of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But to do good and to communicate 
to communicate, forget not, for for with such sacrifices God is well pleased. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, and that and they that must give account that they might do it with joy and not with grief, and for that is unprofitable to you. Pray for us, for we trust we have a good conscience in all things willing to live honestly, but I beseech you the ra- the rather to do this that I may be restored to you the sooner. <laughs> Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, may you perfect it in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. And I beseech you, brethren, suffer the word of exhortation, for I have written a letter unto you in a few words. Know ye that our brother Timothy is set at liberty... With whom, with whom, if he comes shortly, I will see you. <laughs> Salute all them that have rule over you and all the saints. They of they of Italy salute you. Grace be with you all. Amen. Written to the Hebrews from Italy by Timothy. <laughs> oh, hallelujah! Hambai sigra galabati. Hai sigra kata walakata. Hai sigra babai. Thank you, Jesus.